Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and welcome back to the channel. Now if you saw my video earlier today about net neutrality, you know that it's a very important thing, especially as a YouTuber. Sadly, the repeal did go through. Uh, the FCC's vote actually ended up repealing it. But at the moment, it's still going to Congress and so hopefully Congress shuts it down because this isn't something that's cool to take away. This is, if you looked over the past few weeks, like literally go on Twitter, go on Facebook, whatever, go up, go look up net neutrality and see how many people are against that. We live in a, dem a democratic country and by de democratic I don't mean democrats, I mean democracy democratic type stuff. And yet the people's voice said no has nothing to do with what happened today. Guaranteed if you look at any American household, they have internet. They have Wi-Fi, they have something that relies on the internet that they use every day. Small businesses, YouTube channels, school. My my doing me doing school relies on the internet. Everyone stood up for net neutrality to stay, but the FCC still revoked it. They still repealed everything that had happened a few years ago. They took away our right as Americans to have free internet and have it be where I say free internet, you know what I mean, and have it be where telecom companies like Comcast and Verizon and AT&T can't screw us over when it comes to this stuff. ISPs don't care about us. The people in the FCC don't care about us. It's, it's, it's really hard to say that, and it sucks to say that, but the fact of the matter is, is that if they really cared about us, they wouldn't have repealed it today they really cared they would have said look the American people don't want this the American people don't stand by this we can't do this we can't but instead it happened Ajit Pabda whatever the fuck his last name whatever his stupid fucking name is and his stupid fucking FCC decided to repeal net neutrality our only hope at this point is that Congress goes through and they give that they shut it down the internet is a right to us it's something that we deserve to be able to use it's something that we deserve as Americans to be able to have and it's something that we as Americans deserve to not be screwed over if we want to go onto one site and then we get charged more for going onto that site than another the whole vote today really changed the way it's going to be going. There was a lot of controversy. There was a bomb threat that made them have to recess. There was millions and millions and millions of Americans' names being used on a vote for the repeal that had never even voted, had never even said anything about it. How my, my name could have been on the comment section for all I know. FCC doesn't care. They don't care. They still repealed. They should have waited for this vote because the fact of the matter is is that there's so much fucking fraud and complicated bullshit that happened today that it really makes it look like they don't give a shit and they just want to take this away from us. Even if Congress doesn't stop it, we it's still not going to take effect until next year which is good. We still have an, a, another few months, hopefully, of time before everything goes away and it gets harder to go on the internet. As a YouTuber, as someone who uses the internet for school, as someone who uses the internet for online shopping, as someone who uses the internet to talk to my girlfriend, as someone who uses the internet for a lot of things, I don't know how this is gonna affect the world and it's gonna suck. Because the fact of the matter is is that this could end up being the internet service providers, ISPs, really screwing over the people who are buying internet from them. Now there's still there's still companies that are against this, so obviously not every company is going to to do this. Not every company is going to rank up rack up their prices. But for people who only have one company in their area, they may not have a choice. They may be stuck with one company and have to be screwed over by their stupid fucking plans and the way they chart rank rack prices up 
for people who have more options, then you can maybe get lucky and get the one that doesn't decide to screw you over. But even then, it's still a bit of a hard thing to go for. So, if you guys want to try to keep this fight up, there's a lot of different places you can go uh, to try to get this to, um, for, to try to get Congress to to help take care of this because it's it's one thing we need. One minute, let me find the thing I'm looking for. Not net neutrality, net neutrality. So, I'm not even in a good spot right now, guys. It, it's, look, I'll put it this way. I, I didn't like a lot of Obama, a, a lot of what Obama did. But this was one of those things that I enjoyed thoroughly and thought was a good idea. My state didn't even freaking vote against it. They didn't sue to defend. Michigan was not one of the... One of the 17 states that sued to defend it. 17. 17 out of 50 states sued the FCC to defend net neutrality. Just think about that. 17. That's barely more than the original colonies. Barely. That's four more. A four more, a four difference from the actual original colonies that were in this. That's how small of an amount of states sued the FCC for it. And here's a potential way that net neutrality could work. I don't think this is how it's going to actually be, but there's a good chance. There's a chance it could end up being like this. Twitter. Fourteen ninety nine a month. Snapchat nine ninety nine a month. YouTube nineteen ninety nine a month. Netflix nine ninety nine per movie. Google one ninety nine per search. And that's fucked up. If that, I don't, I don't think it's actually going to end up working that way. But still, oh, of course, somebody's doing the not my president thing. I hate how everyone's putting this down to oh. I Justine, wow, wow, not your president, who cares, because guess what, you live in America, he is. Some dude posted a picture of himself that said, please save net neutrality, bitch, shut up. Okay, so here's how it can end up going, how net neutrality protects competition, imagine if your ISP owns Hulu. So with net neutrality... Um, all of them are the same. They all work the same. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Video, YouTube TV, and Sling. But without net neutrality, it could work like this. Hulu goes fast. Amazon Video, YouTube TV, Sling, and Netflix are all blocked. Which is bullshit. Oh, thank God. Ed Marquis. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, but this is probably a good, a good thing. Uh, he's, a, he's a, I'm guessing, a congressman. I plan to introduce a Congressional Review Act resolution that would restore the open internet order and reverse the FCC's historic mistake of repealing net neutrality. This fight is far from over. I'm retweeting that, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, Netflix isn't really free. Fuck. Look at the thread. Hopefully, 
hopefully in the in the end everything goes to the way it should be. Let's see. Let's see if my name or any of my family members' names were stolen for the fake comments. Let's look up my name. Okay, my name was not. Okay, let's look up my brother's name. Actually, let's look at my uncle's name because his is easier to spell. My brother's last name always kind of confuses me. Good news, my brother, my uncle's is not. Let's look at my mom's. Of the names I looked up, none of them were on there. Thank God. Jeep pie should go through a table. That'd be hilarious. So hopefully, hopefully everything, hopefully this can actually be. Okay, so if you guys want to try to fight this, they no longer accept the resist text. So call 202-418-1000. Say your name, your state, this is only if you live in the US, and then you oppose the repeal of net neutrality, 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 God damn it. If they don't pick up, leave a voicemail. And I mean, it's it's something that will help. I, I'm honestly probably gonna do it after this. So yeah, try to fight this as much as you guys can. Look up anything you can find to help fight the repeal of net neutrality because it's something that's going to affect everyone's lives even if you don't think it's going to affect yours trust me it will in some way it will thank you guys for watching stay golden peace